Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I have put up a cleaning video, but here it is. I had so much to get done this day and just dedicated a couple hours to what I needed to get accomplished. So I started out in our room just making the bed, kind of getting everything um, picked up and cleaned up. I had a pretty good amount of laundry to do this day as well. So if you need a little laundry motivation, it's definitely gonna be in this video. If you're totally new here, I'm a mom of three. We live in North Carolina. I do a ton of homemaking, cooking, cleaning, those style videos and some motherhood mixed in as well. And I'm really glad you're here. So I use a system called Norwex to clean a lot of my house and it's great because it's chemical free. So the gray cloth you see me using there is called an Enviro cloth. They come in other colors too. And it removes 99% of bacteria and all the dirt and grime off of your surfaces. And then the purple one I'm using is called a window cloth, but it's basically like a polishing cloth. So you use that one dry and then you use the Enviro cloth wet and it makes the best combination. I have cleaned up some pretty greasy windows and doors with having little ones um, with those and it always removes the grease so easily and I don't have to worry about residue and all of that. If you guys have little ones, you know how grimy the tub can get when they've been playing outside and all of that. And you're gonna see the bottom of the tub get a little cleaner after I go over it with this tub scrub mitt. I love this thing, it's so convenient. I used to have to take a cup and like rinse everything down, but now I just take the scratchy side, scrub it down, and then I go over it with um, the softer side and it rinses it off and it's completely done. Also, I did spray it down with a little bit of um, some Norwex cleaner before I started scrubbing it, uh, just to make it smell good and to make it a little easier to get some of the grime off of the walls of the tub and the shower. But I've always felt that something's missing. Until I found you right there in the crowd You came into my life and started a fire You made me feel like I could touch the sky oh, There's nothing missing now that you're my desire Now all I have to do is to make you mine Cause I know, and you know what we could be Like a song I went into the laundry room and got everything switched around. Um, I have been lagging on laundry lately, you guys. I just had a lot of laundry this day, to be honest. <laughs> Needed to get caught up, and with the pool being open now, um, it is just a lot. I have to keep up with the towels and the swimming suits and all the different things. So I wanted to keep that rolling through my day so that I could get everything folded. Then after that, I went and cleaned around our toilet. I used my teal Enviro cloth. I used the teal one just because teal toilet kind of helps me remember that that's the one for all of the grimy things. And I know that I just keep it for those things.
Something I haven't done for a long time is clean the trim in this bathroom and it needed it so badly. So I went ahead and went around everything, wiped it all off and you can't see it in the video, but in person there was like such a visible difference. It looked lighter and fresh and clean. So if you need a way to just make yourself feel better today, find a room that needs trim washed and it might just brighten your day a little. <laughs> We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So let me know in the comments what your biggest task of the day today is. It's definitely cleaning for me, just getting a general clean done. And you might see the girls pop in and out of this video. If you're new around here, they are five, four, and almost three. Um, they're each a year apart. And so all the birthdays are very clustered together. So we just had some birthdays and about to have the last one. I can't believe they're getting this big already. But it is nice because since they're all close to the same age, they like to play with the same toys and do the same activities, which keeps things pretty simple around here. So this is my youngest daughter's bedroom. It's also the room that we keep all the toys in. So the closet that's in here um, holds all the toys and it makes it easy to clean up then because a lot of times most of the toys are just in this room. And I do this, I would say every few days. Lately, I feel like it's been once a week. I feel just so overwhelmed by doing it too often because it just gets a mess again. And the girls do help me clean up a lot. Um, obviously, I don't normally film them cleaning up, but they do help pick up their toys and know where things go. I don't know if it's just a girl mom thing, but we have so many toys that have such little pieces. And so I feel like I'm always picking up all of these tiny little pieces for different dolls and other things. So if you're a boy mom, let me know in the comments, do your kiddos have toys with tons of pieces? Do you feel like you're picking up a lot of tiny stuff or is it more like trucks and bigger stuff that's not quite as difficult to keep clean? So 
this is our living room and I just went in and got everything picked up that was laying around. I've been kind of thinking about doing something different behind that couch where you saw the baskets and the wall hanging. Um, it's been a while since I did that. I did a decorating video where I kind of refreshed this room, gave it a little bit of like a Southwest vibe, but I'm kind of thinking I want to go back to a little more neutrals and just freshen it up a little bit. So let me know if you have any good ideas for that wall and be on the lookout for probably some kind of decorating video in the next few months um, where I probably will be refreshing this room. I don't know if I'll go right into fall stuff or what exactly I'll do, but it's definitely been on my mind. I moved into the kitchen next just to get the dishes done and dishwasher loaded, the counters cleaned off. There was a pretty big mess because the night before Corey and I were doing some cooking together and something that like we love to do together. It's one of our favorite activities. And so we were doing um, like wings in the air fryer and just a lot of random stuff. So we had a lot of dishes left over from that and I needed to get it all cleaned up. I know I've said this recently in a video, but I wanted to throw it out there again just because I don't know who gets to see which videos all the time, but I will be linking the lighting that's under these cabinets right here just because I get so many questions about it and it's so simple to put up and if you're a renter, you can easily remove it and it does actually have different colors and stuff. You use your phone to um, operate it and turn them on and off and to select the colors that you want. So I'll be sure to link that below and I will try to link a few other things that have been recently requested just because I have been slacking on the links lately and I've been getting a lot of questions. school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like who
So here I am using my dishcloth from Norwex. I have a pretty good amount of those. Really like them because you can use them without soap since they do remove 99% of bacteria and stuff. So I'm wiping down the counters and the cabinets. Um, all just pretty much every surface. My cabinets were kind of splattered up just because we've been doing a lot of cooking lately, especially since we got our air fryer. We've been trying out all kinds of recipes and delicious things. By the way, that is one of the best kitchen gadgets you could ever invest in. We have been using our microwave very little just because it heats up things so much better and everything tastes so good in it. Uh, but anyways, so we've been doing a lot of cooking and that caused a lot of dirt in the kitchen. So I just went ahead and wiped everything down really well. Or something cliche like ooh. Baby, I only want you. It's true. And then he said, I wrote you a love song. I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing I cleaned out my sink with a little bit of dish soap and my dishcloth and I always get questions about this little strainer or colander. I use it for like dishes and washing veggies off and kind of everything. So it's actually from Ikea and I don't think it costs that much. I think it was a few dollars. But if I can remember, I will try to find one that's on Amazon that's super similar and link it below. Probably about once a week or so, I get a question about why I stopped using my spin mop. So I like to use the Norwex mop because I know it's getting rid of all of the germs on the floor. And with, I know it's like about four, within the first like four feet of your front door, I think it's like 80% of your bacteria in your home, how it comes in, which is pretty crazy and tells you how much our floors have bacteria on them. So just for a peace of mind, I like using the Norwex mop so that I know it's actually removing the bacteria and not just pushing it around like the spin mop. So next I went into our bedroom to tackle the mountain of laundry. I started with putting some oil in my diffuser just to get it smelling really good in there. And then I dug in and just started folding everything.
So are you a laundry or a dishes person? I used to enjoy doing laundry more than I do now. I don't know. Maybe it's just because of the sheer amount of laundry we have with having three little ones and everything. It just feels so endless. And especially because their pieces of clothing are so small, there's just so many pieces. Um, but I think I enjoy doing dishes more now than I used to and would rather do dishes than do the laundry. I hope this video motivated you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I'd love it if you joined my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. Please leave a comment below. I love reading through the comments and responding to the ones that I can. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in my next video.